Hello everybody out there, this is Ryan from Just Fire, Just Do It Coaching, and today's topic, I'm going to talk about dreams, and the reason I'm going to talk about dreams is because this little guy right here, who was invented by a man by the name of Walt Disney, and my family and I just got back from Walt Disney World, and I want to talk about dreams simply because of this, Walt had this amazing ability to be forward thinking and develop this amazing, amazing, amazing thing called the Walt Disney World. I just call it empire. Um, what? And it's all based on dreams and imagination and thinking outside the box and not allowing anybody else to uh, interfere with those dreams and just pushing forward. And everything you see at Walt Disney World. Uh, Magic Kingdom specifically for me while we were there I'm a people watcher and I'm watching people adults and children alike light up at these shows you just see the wonderment and the amazement of what's out there and what can happen and and, and specifically when I was looking around I happen to have like front row to this show it's kind of like walk up at your own risk it, you know and, and at, at, not at your own risk but first come first serve we happen to be in the front so we're at the castle and mickey and donald and goofy and minnie and, and all the characters come out and tinkerbell ends up being in it and and uh it, it just it's it's this big huge elaborate show that goes on for maybe 20 minutes maybe a half hour and as i'm watching this show and watching my son enjoy it i look back at the crowd and i just see these huge smiles on all the adults faces and, and the theme of the music was dreams, enjoy your dreams, uh, uh, go after your dreams, don't let anybody tell you you can't have your dreams, and all the kids are in amazement and everything, and, but what happens? The world, for whatever reason, kicks our butt a little bit, and, 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 and we go out there, and, and certain people in our lives, whoever they may be, squash our dreams and we start believing that stuff instead of listening to the positive stuff that you can achieve your dreams just continue to move forward i'm sitting here thinking i'm like wouldn't it be amazing if the world was just a bunch of walt disney's that encouraged us to go after what we really want that doesn't put limits on our imagination it doesn't stop us every time there's a hurdle or an obstacle towards our goals or, or tells us that things are too hard. This is a man who bought the better part of Central Florida with a vision, but he didn't want any of the naysayers to stop him from doing it. Now, I don't know the whole story, and I'm just going to paraphrase based on information that I learned many, many years ago of, of living in Florida is he basically had a bunch of smaller companies buy up the land that were all under, all under an umbrella of him so that when he was buying it up because he had this huge vision, nobody would stop him because they didn't want him to create a monopoly. And he knew that. He, he had the forethought to realize that somebody out there would want to stop what he was trying to do. So he kind of did it for lack of a better term, under, on the down low, on the down low, he just was like, and then when he acquired it all, then he could do what he wanted to do, this is a man who had vision, imagination, had a huge dream, and created it, so my question out there to those of you out there that have huge dreams, huge aspirations, who squashed them? Huh? Who out there has squashed them, and why are you choosing, it's your choice, to listen to them? Stop choosing to listen to the naysayers. Stop choosing to watch the news and listen to all the bad things going in, on in the world. Stop listening to those people in your life that say, you're not good enough. Why do you think you can do that? Because that's their reflection of themselves, of their own failed dreams. And misery loves company. So, and, and it's harsh. It's harsh. But this is a harsh reality of a coach. We have to tell those who pay us, the hard facts and the truth. If there are people in your life that don't support the dreams and aspirations that you want, you have two choices. You can get rid of them, 
however you see fit with that. I'm not saying just cut all ties, but you know, when they invite you somewhere and you know there's going to be conversation about what's going on in your life, you haven't seen them in a while and you might share something you're doing and they may have a negative, you can you could either choose not to go and slowly separate yourself from these people or you could choose when you go not to tell them what's going on. Just say, oh, same old, same old. And people accept that because that's where they're at. Uh, and then there will be people that slowly in the process, and this is a good thing, slowly leave your lives because they no longer, you no longer have space in your life for that negativity. And you have grown to a point that even though someone has left, probably someone much better has come into your life to replace them. So listen to your dreams. Follow your dreams. Be inspired. Use your imagination. Go back to that time as a child when you had all these dreams and aspirations and think about what stopped you. And if you could connect to that and connect to that, hey, if I leave this life without having tried or without attempting to fulfill those things that propel me this far and I'm just kind of existing and I'm not living, why don't we start trying to live again? Why don't we start going after our dreams? Think about when you stopped your dreams, why you stopped your dreams, and stop using those things as excuses as to why you can't achieve them. Maybe you had a hiccup. Maybe you had a child. Maybe you got married. Maybe you had to go to school. Maybe school didn't work out. Maybe you have huge financial debt. There's all kinds of things that make people believe that they cannot succeed based on these material, non-tangible, tangible things that they use as excuses to stop living their dreams. Guys, everybody who has been successful has gone through something. But they it's how they chose to react to that something that propelled them forward. And they chose to continue to moving forward. So my suggestion to you is to continue moving forward. This is Ryan from Justifier Just Do It Coaching. You can find me at justifierjustdoit.com. You can find me on Facebook at Justifier Just Do It Coaching. And if you ever want are interested in a free consultation, a free session to see how coaching could potentially change your life in just an hour, please contact me at any one of those my email is justify or just do it at gmail.com and my phone number is 786-371-1083. I look forward to hearing from all of you. Have an amazing day.